game time for the untouchable true school sports. Let's go, baby. Bow. Be careful what you wish for because because it can become a reality. Yeah. Point of fight, did you yeah, think Javante was, was just setting him up? There were some great points where he was he was in control. It's just Javante had to figure something out. Had to like figure out how to control the fight and get it back on his side. I think he just he just overcome a little bit of adversity. What do you think about uh, Benavidez, Benavidez's fight? Oh man, I fell asleep. But you know what? Like it was an incredible <laughs> fight. Why would you fall asleep? Fight. Man, because like one, I'm tired, and okay. two, um, it's just like you know what I thought about Benavidez's fight. I thought that uh, that 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 guy was pretty pretty heavy, pretty strong. You know? Yeah, yeah. But Benavidez was incredibly fast. And like he controlled the fight all the way through. I just thought that like of course Benavidez is gonna win. I thought sooner or later he was gonna actually get a knockout or like stoppage, but it went the distance and and look man, shout out to Benavidez and, all, and everybody that's associated with him because uh they're doing a terrific job. Who do you want who do you want to see Benavidez fight next? Man, I only wanna see Canelo. I only wanna see Canelo fight. Because everybody wants to talk about that fight. Everybody wants to see that fight. I'm the people's champion. I'm going to tell you guys exactly what I want to see, what the people want to see. And people want to see Canelo Alvarez. How about Tank next fight? What you think? Who you think Tank should take on next? Damn. Some people know. saying Loma could be his next opponent. I think Loma is a great opponent. Yeah. That was something that I feel like he was, he was running away from for a long time. But, like, I think Loma's perfect right now for him. You know, um... I don't know. And then, like, what's what's going on with Devin Haney? Is he, is he going to be back in, in business? I don't know. But, yeah. Um, but, like, I would love to see him back in action and maybe going down to fight fight a Javante Davis. It would be great. Would you Tank want talked about something, actually, a little earlier, Blair. Um, he just said, you know, he's tired of having to worry about, you know, what he's going to do to somebody or what somebody's going to do to him. As a fighter, can you talk about that anxiety? Do you get any anxiety, like, thinking about, you know, your opponents or – just the violence of the sport, because there is a certain aspect to it that is not just the sport, you know, it's, it's two men fighting. Yeah, um, I don't know if I get anxiety. Bro, I'm, I'm like, I'm built for lights. You know, I, like, <laughs> I do all the shenanigans and put all the stress on them. I let them worry about the fight. You know what I'm saying? And um, I'm just enjoying myself every moment. You know, so like some people is just happy to be alive for the moment, like honestly. Some people are just happy to be alive. If you've gone through enough trauma and trials and tribulations in life, sometimes it just gets to a point where it's like, you know what? Once you overcome the, your greatest fight in life, you're just happy to be there. And that's what I am. I'm just happy to be there. You know, so like that's that's how it is when I take these fights. Would you want to uh, fight Ryan Garcia next? Absolutely. We can bring it right now. He's talking a whole lot of shit. He think that he can beat me, you know, and like hell. Like he thinks he's like the greatest of all times. He's not the people's champ. Blader Flair's the people's champ. You want to be at 147, he can get smacked up any time of the day. Blader Flair's here. And the other fight people want to see is you with Rollies. What do you think about that one? I think it's a terrific fight that needs to happen. ASAP, Blader Flair, Roly Romero, um, two of the most exciting fighters in boxing today. Look, I got a mouthpiece. He got a mouthpiece. We can produce a big, big attraction, and that's what boxing needs. Why? Because if you don't have these exciting figures in boxing, you know what you have? YouTubers, TikTokers. And a whole lot of nonsense that fucking goes on and goes on and goes on and diminishes the greatness of what boxing represents. Uh, Blair, you once called uh, Javante Davis a, a checkmate fighter when I interview, interviewed you one time. Yeah. Well, who do you think has the best style to beat him at, in his weight class? Well, honestly, I don't know. Um, one of the best fighters that I thought that like could beat, could really give him a run for his money would be somebody like Devin Haney. You know what I mean? Um, but maybe it's like, I don't know how he's going to like come back from that loss with Ryan Garcia, but I'd love to see that fight still. Um, there's a fighter from Philadelphia that a lot of people forget that called him out. That's the perfect kryptonite for somebody like Javante. And that's a guy that goes by the name of Tevin Farmer. Mm. I would still love to see that fight and see if he can actually put his hands on somebody that's that elusive, that fast, and have reflexes that's that good, you know? So that'll still be a great fight for me to see. Um, it's either that, you know, Lomachenko's great too, 
Um, but he's like probably a little outdated. Yeah. You know what I mean? Probably a little dated. But um, if they can make that fight happen, I love it. What do you think about Ryan Garcia with the comments today about Taylor Plant's wife? Kind of what did he say about his wife? All kinds of stuff. <laughs> what did he say? He said, uh, <laughs> "Yeah, <laughs> I didn't see." He it. said she's easy, easy on the eye, and she's a she's a great reporter. Well, she is, she that, is that, beautiful. Yeah, yeah. That's my wife. And he said, "That's my wife." He said that, that's he's, his wife. Yeah, he said Jordan, Jordan Garcia, not Jordan Plant. Kayla Plant and him actually got into it tonight. Uh, Kayla threw a drink at him. Was it glass? It should be glass. <laughs> it should be a glass drink, you know, encased in titanium. You know, I don't know. Look, what, what I got to say about that is like, is this. Ryan is the era of BM. And the BM era is this. Bitch made. He's full of that bitch made shit where they can't wait to fucking be a dishonorable man and cast shade on something like somebody's wife or somebody's girlfriend or somebody's this or that like this is this is really bitch made it's a lot of bm things going on in boxing today because of this bm culture that's going on and um we need to fix that and i don't mind going ahead and becoming the great tooth fairy that i am and knocking out one of fucking ryan garcia's teeth that will fix his language to the level that he needs to be at you know and everybody wants to talk about that little clip that he talks about. Like, oh, yeah, I knocked him down in sparring. If you let the, let the credits roll, let the, let the camera roll and see what happened. Because he got stopped that day. Yeah, I got knocked down. But you know what? I'm the people's champ that gets back up every single time and wins at the end. And that's exactly what I did that day. I stopped him. I made him say, you know what? I think we had enough. And that's what it's all about. It's not about what happens when you get started. It's about how you finish. You know, so like, let's see what happens with, with, um, with Ryan Garcia. Let's see what happens with Roller Romero. Let's see what happens with Blair Flair and see what happens in the end. Because Blair Flair is, is always going to win in the end. Thank you for watching another video on the untouchable True School Sports Empire. I'm at the Boxing Hall of Fame out here in Canada, New York. And for more great boxing content just like this video, make sure you click and subscribe right over here.